Hello, good people. I'm going to start chirping because it's nighttime in the world. So chirp, 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 chirp. I am a cricket. Chirp, chirp. Hello, James. <laughs> Welcome to the stream where we first things we do is that we start off being a small cricket. Hi. It's nice to see you. All right. So today's discussion. Ooh, wait, wait. Ah, cool. I wore this shirt yesterday, so we're going to get comments about that, but that's because it's a fun shirt. It's got a bird coming out of a skull, which I like. Anyway, so today's fun stuff is going to be, I pick a weapon, and you lovely people will then tell me what I'm going to be allowed to put on that weapon. It's going to be just a fun, inclusionary chat process, which is going to be cool. James likes crickets, they're lucky. I saw Mulan, Disney's Mulan animated version. Yeah, yeah, they could be pretty lucky. Anyway. So I'll pick a gun, and if you're like, oh, that shotgun should have a giant scope on it, I'll I'll have to play with a giant scope on it. <laughs> we'll be figuring that out as we go. So it's going to be fun. And some of the weapons I have have lots of attachments, so that'll be very easy. But we can also have this kind of fun times where you experiment, and you're like, oh, let's try making this gun ridiculous, and let's do it. The other thing we'll be doing today is we're going to be doing a lecture on spoon theory. We talked about that yesterday. Spoon theory is the process of spoons being energy, and the idea is how many spoons does it take to do something. But I want to talk about it a little bit about how things over time can lower the spoon costs. What's up, Alex? Nice to see you too. Ah, uh, yes. So, I just ran through my stuff, Alex. Picking attachments, that's what you guys will do. I'm gonna go, hey, what's this weapon here that I want to use? Let's say, I'm like, oh, let's, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with this shotgun, okay? So here's a shotgun. And I'm gonna ask y'all, what do you wanna put on this shotgun? Do you wanna put um, a scout <laughs> a sniper that goes 3.25% resolution? Do you wanna have a perk that's uh, getting us more headshot XP? We can do that. It's up to you. So I'm gonna ask chat real quick the general questions. Do you want this shotgun to have a giant scope on it? And, um,. I'm trying to decide if there's other things that would make sense to put on this. Do you want to have this shotgun have, um, I, I don't think you guys care about that as much. I think what you care about is if there's a giant sniper rifle on as the shotgun. <laughs> this was a recommendation from Yesh. Yesh was just like, oh, I wouldn't really want to do this. So I was like, Let's try it out. Shotgun with a scope? Nope. Okay. All right. So no need for a shotgun with a scope. But one thing that I think would be kind of fun, so this shotgun has two rounds in it, whenever it fires. It's actually my favorite shotgun in the normal gameplay. So potentially we could do reload quickness, or full metal jacket, and just <laughs> through people. That could be fun. I'm also a fan of things like Mo Money, because <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Shotguns aren't snippy snappies, it's true. Let's see, fun muzzle to do. We can make it a quiet shotgun. Do you guys want to make it silenced? Or do you want to make it something that instead of shooting people, we whack people with it, the upping the melee damage? Pretty ridiculous set of choices there. I think it would be fun to do something like a sawed off barrel, but for now we actually don't have that option. We have wider pellet bed and damage range decrease. Spread the fire speed, aim down the sight. It's a guard. Cool. Hmm. So if I was going to be in your shoes, I think if you wanted me to be doing successfully, then the correct method would be to do something along the lines of giving that shotgun probably Minimal changes, maybe full, if like, if you're like, yeah, let's have him do well, maybe something like full metal jacket or sleight of hand, and then perhaps aiming stability, but it's the shotgun. Who, who aims with a shotgun? Precision strike is a no. Laser could be fine. Nope, but keep the tighter spread of pellets. I think that's better. Hmm, aim down the sight speed. I think that's always good. Sprint to fire speed. I think those are probably the best. FMJ. All right, James. We'll do FMJ. I threw this on right here. 
this this grip for the sake of time because for one yesh is the one who actually plays call of duty is like has ideas immediately in their head i'm going to come up with other things that i think so it's like this one will aim down so it's printed fire speed so it's going to be a little bit faster for us to go to sprint to um these both recoil control i don't care i mean stability i don't care precision sight picture don't care Aim walking doesn't matter as much. The smooth bore. Do you want to do the smooth bore with a, s a bigger spread of bullets? So you have to be closer, but the advantage is you need to aim less. I dislike that one, <laughs> personally. I do think it would be funny to have sound suppression <laughs> on a shotgun. But I also like having higher damage range, personally. All right. Okay, okay. Hmm, so we'll start with this. This will, this will be our beginning fun stuff. And to minimize the questions, uh, oh, can we just do swords? That'd be funny. Damage range? Damage range up? Or damage range down? It's <laughs> the important question. I'll do one of my favorite joke things uh, in response to this. Oh, <laughs> Nightbot! Oh, I, I gotta get rid of Nightbot. Nightbot seems to be doing terrible things. I'm I'm gonna... No, Nightbot. You go in timeout. <laughs> no! <laughs> James got deleted message. Nightbot's getting a timeout. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna do a sniper pistol in the meantime, because that's funny. I'll be quieter with no caps. No, feel free to do caps. Nightbot is the problem. Uh, I tried installing it so that we could have a bunch of things like uh, poles and things like that. But we're running into situations where Nightbot's being... Nightbot's nice being a, a, a butt. That's the best way to describe it. All right. Sniper pistol, shotgun, combo. I think it'll be the fun way to do this. Plunder. Continuing our process with plunder. Always a good. So in this plunder, we're gonna go for the thing where we're gonna try to go top 10 and 10. Nightbot doesn't seem to like many people indeed. Uh, but the major thing is like, I think a lot of times in the really, really intense streams, not something like Nightbop is really great. Nightbop, Nightbop. Uh, but in the smaller stuff, like so like at Monolith, something like Nightbot was really useful because you would have spent the time to like make it exactly what you need it to be. I don't quite know what we need Nightbot to be yet. That's the major issue. I am gonna go quick. Let's see, where do I find this? I think it's comments and mentions. Or is it settings? It might be settings that so they have this bit of information. Channel. Permissions. Community, there it is. Auto room, night, Nightbot as a moderator, real quick. Nightbot, <laughs> Nightbutt, <laughs> Nightbutt. Nightbutt says you got a nice butt. Oh, well, thank you, Nightbutt. Cool. Hey, Stadia, hit the thumbs up. Players always say, thank you, Stadia. So, Stadia, uh, just so you're aware, we're going to be talking a little bit about the spoon stuff some more. And the discussion on it is also going to be on the increase of, like, overall improvements of spoons. Uh, Elmo is a big fan of the improvement of spoons. And you'll know what I'm talking about as we do it. And the idea here was that people would then pick the loadouts that we'd be using. Specifically, I'd pick a gun, and then people would pick what goes on the gun. And so... James provided our first bit of information, which was higher damage range and full metal jacket on the shotgun. Actually, give a warning before de deleting anything. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Rather just be going, sing, slicing through. But that'll be our fun things for today. And right now we're using a sniper pistol to work with this. So I'm like choosing what I put with the weapon combo. So here's our long range, or our shotgun, which we can turn into something else later, but it's about being close. This shotgun tends to be pretty bad in Warzone, but really, really good in normal modern warfare, which we'd play, but I'm still struggling to get normal modern warfare to work. What was that? Boom! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was pain. That was absolute pain. Okay. Cool. I went explode. I went explode in game and real life. All right, same process goes. We land near where a lot of stuff is happening. I've been pretty enjoying doing things like recon in the airport. I think that's been pretty good. I love how every time we're uh, playing this game right now, we have a character who's a special version who has like the hood. But whenever they show, they show different versions of that starting character each time we start. It's a silly thing. Nope. Apparently we had that going on earlier. Well, now I'll keep it going. One of these times, we're also going to go for a... Uh, not necessarily shooting other players version of getting a million bucks, but I like the mixing in the player shoot. It does a good job. It does a good job. Start with some recon. I haven't played non-app games in a long time. Oh yeah, I gotcha. I think the way I would say, Alex, is as I figure out the best way to ask these questions, it'll be things like, do we do something like a massive scope? Like a humongous scope. Oh, hold on, we got a friend coming for us. All right, probably from over here. Being chased by the enemy. I don't know where they're coming from, but they're on their way. Hello, Glow Catalyst. Oh, I'll get it in here. Alright, so whoever is trying to get us was able to see where we were. Alright, let's make our way downstairs. Okay, so they're super close to us. Oh, are they ghosted? Okay, so we're, we're being hunted. I think this is them. And they're just running upstairs ahead of us. Yeah, that's them. <laughs> Do they go on the roof? Beep. 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 Up. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at us copy each other, but I stuck him. Hey, we got rid of our person who is going after us. Congratulations to us. That person was haunting us, we took him out. Very good, and we stuck him with a grenade, as one should. All right, 55k, landing on. The delicious, very tall. I guess, what are those? Street lights? Street lights. It's the little things. It's funny that you went with the scope as an example. Joe has been walking around with a spyglass all day. Ah! Well, I feel like we all kind of understand and relate to such an experience. Sticky explode? Oh, totally. Also, I imagine that the opposing player is going to be looking for us. Let's go secure that spot. Peeking around. So this is our sniping pistol. Or, this is James, this is the closest to the Magnum we had back in our uh, call. Or what was it? Conquer's Bad Fur Day. It's a sniper rifle revolver. Enemy, enemy UAV overhead. All right, picking up the monies. Just get more. 
Nobody that way. Nobody that way. Nobody that way. The one-shot kill revolver. Oh yeah, it was super fun. Nobody that way. Nobody this way. Keep checking. Got it. Alright, big goal is to find ourselves. Someone's on the roof right now. Through those windows. Top 10, cool. I will grab this. I'm looking for a balloon. This is what I'm looking for. A balloon. Uh, we can go ahead and do another recon. Top 8 now. Oh! Oh, there is someone who's going to walk through this door. Alright. Balloon holding stuff. Yep, they're, st they're still heading this way. Oh, they, they blew it up. And then they backed off. Interesting. We spooked him away. <laughs> Good for us. Scavenger, but we already have another recon going. We'll pick up more of the cash. I'll take a UAV and start it right now. Perfect. Second UAV. That's not a UAV. That's a precision airstrike. It'll work just the same. All right, based off of this... We can see we have a target that we could go for where a lot of other players are headed. I feel like I'll play one of these matches which will be focused on primarily hunting the people in the red circles. Because I think that'll get a lot of interesting like combat and stuff happening. It won't be as much of doing these adventures that we're chasing right now. But it'll still be fun. Oh, we got a player right there. People are shooting at us, too. Alright, for security's sake, I think that person might actually be able to shoot down on us from upstairs. So this is not the most advantageous position for fighting. Vehicle UAV is RTP for resupply. I'm ready. I'm ready. They're just on that building, waiting for- and we have to stand here to collect the secured recon position. Alright, they let us get it! Noise. It would be nice to deposit this money, which we could do here. Someone else is already depositing stuff, though. So this would be great. As they go to deposit it, we can go and just boop them real hard. And deposit the money we have. Alright. More cash. Here we go. Here's the moment. Oh, they're upstairs. Someone else shot them down. Up on the roof. That kind of doesn't assist. Oh, someone's from behind. Gotta run. Whew. That was close. They're not there anymore. Where, where's our friend who's going for us? Running up the stairs right now. Okay. Walking around. Uh-oh! We're being sniped at at the moment. So everybody's fighting in this one area. Great. Cool. Oh! Well, that person just got shot down up in the roof. We have our other roof friend.
Alright, this is not a safe place to deposit anything right now. Couple snipers on the roofs here. One up high, I think one on this side too. Yep, okay. I'm gonna go try to get the money, but I'm not gonna try to leave anything. Up. Huh? Quick grabs, cool. I think this is worth just buying a balloon real quick. There we go. Because there are three... Pl just enough players around here. And there's enough money that it's worth depositing. It's just getting rid of this. So we don't have to worry about being surprised. Perfect. Perfect design right now for the, the spooky scariness. Uh-oh! Alright, we know there's an enemy right in here. Oh, they were on the ground! <laughs> We still deposited the money that we had in the balloon. We're safe with that. But... Uh-oh. Helicopter's coming in. That'll actually kill us if I'm not careful. There we go. I don't know where that cluster strike is coming. Oh, hey. Got that one. They totally got me there. Yeah. Throw that. Alright, we've cracked them. And they might have just run away. Alright, we're running out of ammunition here. Luckily, we have a munitions. Oh no, get through the door! <gasps> There's a lot going on. Oh, that's a good amount of money. <laughs> Grab that and let's get out of here. Back into the hair. They're on our left. Enemy soldier incoming. Jeez, I was close. Alright, pause. All right, they're gonna hear each other and fight Hostiles each other. Into the area. Watch the skies. There it is! Perfect. Just letting the two do their little battling. Oh no! There's someone else there! No! Oh. That was perfect. We waited for the two to do their battle. We were calm. Oof, but we got we got bit. All right, we could totally go get involved in that again. I I think probably the safest bet would be to find a store like that. There's another player landing right there. There's like explosions coming in. There's a player right in front of us right here. Oh, shoot! And we're being sniped at from the roofs. All the roofs. And they're below us as well. Yep. Sniper over there. Okay. I feel like this is a great location, but I want to only come back here once we've deposited the money. They knew your game well and played you. Well, I played some of them, too. Alright. Um, how do we want to do this? Perfect. That's how we want to do this. We want to find a balloon. Because we can re-engage in that environment. Just deposit some of our cash. That'd be great. Someone else is walking around this area. I can like... Enemy UAV 
Okay, they're nearby. Alright, so we were able to deposit a good chunk of our cash. We still have a large amount of cash on us, but that was a big help. That was more stopping power rounds. I'll take another one and we'll put it in the pistol. We'll grab a recon so that we have this as an option. Grab munitions, so we have munitions as an option. <laughs> All right, yeah, recon's right in that building too. What I really want is another balloon. You just, boxes got balloons. Just keep picking up the balloons and it's a good day. All right, someone called it another helicopter. That's fine. We dropped a balloon, put in more money. Nice, we're, we're really well equipped for combat now. We have like nothing to lose. That's not entirely true as I'm picking up more stuff, but it's fine. I'm gonna go in and start collecting some more stuff. We'll secure over here. See if we can interrupt another player's deposit. Make it our deposit. See, is there a window I can use over here? I can't, so I have to open the door. Two players in this building. This is where we died. Uh oh, they're upstairs. And there's also, um... Okay, so they were just looking at me. And there was also a claymore there. Get rid of the claymore. Still close. All right. Jump. Two shots. They were cracked. Definitely hurt more than we are. Down them. Oh, they got us. <laughs> We're doing great though. I'm very proud of this. Yes, this just happened to me. But we downed them. They're taken out. They don't have the cash on them. We still have a recon thing up. We have a, we're in fourth place. We got five kills. We got six, we're, yeah, we're, we're doing very well with what we have. They're also going to be, if the, another single player like we are, as in no teammates, then they're gonna be floating in immediately right now too. That's fine. Perfect, got our cash. Uh-oh. Someone's looking at us just on that other side too. Overtime. Super nearby. Firing happening too. Just gonna jump in here real quick. Finish this off, get a cluster strike, and a self revive kit. Oh, we'll take that. Alright, over that way. And nearby. Oh, they're gonna land right here. Oh, shoot. That shotgun's not great. <laughs> that, that, was, that shotgun's not great. <laughs> It's like two shots and then you have to reload and you're like, oh no. We still have the opportunity to do the recon. Uh, we had a lot of money on us that unfortunately got removed because of that person killing us. I could have put out the pistol, switched to the shotgun afterwards. I could have totally done that. All right, they're not in here. So we're gonna be able to finish this. This will get us a good chunk of cash. Nice. All right, we're gonna hopefully get ourselves another balloon. Okay. So I'm pretty confident that whatever happened over here is, like could still go on. So I'm gonna be quiet just pick up myself another balloon. 
to our left. Yep. Oh shoot! Dang it! I saw the beep. I saw the beep. That was a, a, a rough choice. All right. There's a money drop over there. We have 128 cash. 128,000. So here's the important choice. We got a minute where we can hold on to this or we can try to push real hard. Probably makes sense to try to push because it's fun. That's the only reason. Don't have the best weapons for it, but that's okay. We have our sniper pistol. <laughs> the beautiful and incredible. 40 seconds to go. Fourth place. Right, I'm just gonna go pick up some cash because we only have like 20 seconds to go. <laughs> See if there's anything in here. Oh, there's some ammo. Keep pushing, you say? Okay, so they got the money thing I was looking for. And the people we were chasing is now behind us in the train station. So our pushing has not given us any option. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay. Sixth place. We lost a couple places. That's okay. We still did very fun time. Enjoyed it. Definitely enjoyed it. All right, so that was a nice full game. I, uh, have a, that's funny, I love how I, I end up getting stuck on one document and I'll have a bunch of like numbers pressed for me sw doing hotkeys for like music or like explosions, yays and stuff like that. So it always makes me laugh because it'll be like two, two, four, four, two, two. All right, I think it'll be good to dump, or dump. Yeah, dump into a lecture. So we're gonna dump into a lecture and uh, that'll be a good one. It'll be quick, it'll be fun. We'll go for another thing after that, which will be a discussion on what random attachments do we do? And I'll ask the generalized questions, like, do y'all want me to do like a big scope on something? You know, it's that kind of thing. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll pop into this. So what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about today the concept not of just spoons, but as a reminder of what spoons are, because I don't think, know if James knows what spoon theory is. So remember, spoon theory is the concept that you have a certain amount of spoons in your life. And when you wake up in the morning, you have a certain amount of spoons that you use to get out of bed, a certain number of spoons that you use to make yourself breakfast, a certain number of spoons that you use to pay attention at work. And you only have so many spoons in the day. And the idea is that when you run out of spoons, you're out of spoons. And this is something that's often talked about for people with chronic pain, or for chronic disease. And the thought process is that you can apply it to people who don't necessarily suffer from those. And the idea of the spoons is like, if you have, you know, responsibilities in your life, you only have so many spoons in your life. And the thought process is, well, when you're out of spoons, you need to stop pushing. You need to stop trying as hard because, or trying as hard is not the right word. You need to stop trying to force yourself to make spoons out of nothing because you end up doing those things worse than you would if you just rested and then waited till you got spoons again. That's the important point there. Uh, we talked about it in regards to crunch in video games that a lot of evidence shows that crunch in video game design doesn't actually help in making the game better. That sometimes you can, you know, push extra hard and find those extra spoons, but at a certain point it stops being that. Uh, James, I can share the Gama Sutra articles and research and stuff with you because being in the industry as well, probably are curious about what that looks like. Um, but the point of it is that we only have so many spoons and once you have so many spoons, some days you might have a million spoons and it costs not a lot to do things, but some days you might not have a lot of spoons and it costs more spoons to do them. A good example of spoons for me would be like putting my plate into the sink. That takes some spoons compared to just leaving it out somewhere. And then it takes even more spoons to then wash it. But the idea is that if, and this is where I want to talk about stuff today, how does one improve the, or like how far a spoon can go? How do you increase the efficiency? We've talked about that in regards to habits, where it's things like, oh, if you get used to something, it just gets easier to keep doing. But I want to reference that in something that is a little bit less like setting a good habit. I want to reference it in discussion of like going to a video game convention. I live in Seattle. PAX is a video game convention out here. The first time I went to PAX, uh, I had to figure out 
where they had food that I could have, how to get to the actual convention hall, what buses I need to use to do that, what days I wanted to go. Uh, I had to start figuring out things like, what kind of things can I bring, or should I have a backpack, and all these kind of questions. And you know, that creates a lot of spoon use. I have to figure out how to get there, where to eat, what to do. Like, it costs a bunch of spoons to go and do this convention. Now, uh, I actually leave, or live close enough to packs that I could walk there. I know exactly where I'm going to get food and what food I'm even going to get because I've done it so many times now. It doesn't cost me a lot of spoons. I know to bring a nice large water bottle and a backpack with me. That's totally fine. It works and solves my issue. Solutions. I don't actually have to worry too much about how I'm going to do my spoon life because I've already walked there, so it's not nerve wracking. I already know how to, like, I won't have to deal with parking because I've already had experiences with that. I know that I'm going to get a Subway sandwich and I know the line's going to be a little long and that's fine because it always is and I just talk to friends during it. And then we sit in the mid-level discussing things and watching people in cosplay go around. All these questions were answered after I tried it a few times. I just practiced and got better, took the total spoon count and made it lower so it was easier for me to do something like this. Uh, I can basically, like, I'm a person who doesn't mind crowds too much, but I have white limits. This makes it so that I can even have worse of an experience and have it not be as bad because I have less spoon costs. Now, I've seen myself doing stuff in other ways related to spoon costs, uh, including this giant black screen. This is actually kind of a funny situation, too. I often make this mistake where I forget to create this background. What it requires is that I set up the correct um, property for it to find the right page. This happens and I make this mistake. If I'm in a situation where I'm not used to making this mistake, ah, I made it again, but it's fine. If I'm not used to that and not knowing how to exactly fix it, then it's a problem. Then I will cost more spoons to make the mistake and it'll be harder for me to think about. But since I've done it a couple of times, I've actually learned how to get past it. Whilst practicing something, you can work on improving things, finding little processes, and I love these little processes. Other examples of processes that I have worked on and that I can recommend in relation to stuff like flow states that will help. I've been editing videos recently and I found a way to do faster edits and optimizing the video experience for myself. What I did, uh, if you watch some of my older videos that are involving video games and life lesson stuff, you'll see that I'm on screen more and I'll be like moving around. Well, recently I tried not having myself on screen and just doing an audio thing and maybe having footage of me sometimes, but just in the background I'm talking. And I found when I was editing that, that solved a lot of issues and struggles. I also found when I was filming that, it solves a bunch of things where if I make a mistake now, where I'm like, my name is Michael, blah, blah, blah. excuse me, my name is Jared, right? Whatever that is. If I make that mistake, well, if I do that in a conversation, you will see a jump cut and that's fine. YouTube has a lot of jump cuts and you can even push for jump cuts. But if I didn't want to do a jump cut there or if it felt like a confusing jump cut, I might have to re-record a lot of stuff. But if it's just audio, you have no idea what I said before or after wasn't at the same moment because there's no visual component. So that solved some time. It also made it so I could read my script directly off, not directly, directly off a screen. I don't necessarily like using scripts. I use bullet points, but it still helps because then I can just look at it and go like, oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then uh, like, I don't have to actually look at the camera and remember to make eye contact with, for you, it looks like I'm looking in your eyes, but for me, I'm looking at a camera. And so sometimes it can be for easy to forget that I want to actually look at the screen, which is over here of myself. Little things, thumbnails. Uh, we've shown a lot of the thumbnails that I've been doing recently where it has that penguin and it's always kind of consistently doing like a penguin in front of a, a blue background with green and the like that kind of thing. That combo is an example of another lowering spoon costs, right? Like each one of them are going to have yellow, green and red in them in some format and they might have the word challenge, but it'll give you a good indicator of what the video is about. It has the funniness of the penguin and this used to take me like an hour, two hours to make, be able to make one of these because I was starting from scratch. I had no idea what I wanted to do. I had to look at other people's thumbnails to come up with ideas. But now like this one, which I did today, that happened super quick because I have built all those pieces. I have those colored squares that I just copy paste. I have those guns that I just like add little changes to. Like this, this one over here, right? This red guy right there took me the longest time because 
I had to actually physically do a couple edits to it. But that's fine. Like, I had all these other things prepared already, so it was an easy change. Even like this scope huh, is kind of like what's on that one. So the point of this is as you are like dealing with spoons and stuff, it's possible to decrease the cost of the spoons in your life. And I know that sounds kind of funny, but it's something that I really care about because I love efficiencies in that way. We talked about it from the perspective of like going to packs, that's easier. Talking about it from perspectives of like thumbnails. I think one of the biggest ones that I'm super excited about is things like idea generation, where it used to be a lot harder for me to come up with something that I'm interested in. And now I can just watch one thing and be like, I think that's interesting, I wanna do a video on that. And I can easily talk like 10 minutes on it because I've just learned to study things and research things all the time so that whenever I see something that interests me, I just pull from disparate thoughts and bring it together. Saw a video today, for example, that was talking about how people need to lower their shields of cynicism and commingle their hopes, dreams, and fears in order, in order to really connect and understand each other from a perspective of being a writer to the reader. I loved that line, lowering your shields of cynicism to cynicism to commingle your hopes, your dreams, your fears. And that I was like, oh my gosh, that's gonna be a perfect discussion on talking to people who disagree with you, right? Like people who disagree with you from the perspective of Let's do something silly so we don't have to go super political. But people who are like, chocolate is so good, I'm gonna kill anyone who prefers vanilla. Bit of an extreme example, but stick with me here. Point being, that if a person, if you were like, wow, that person might kill me because I prefer vanilla, that's gonna be hard to communicate. But if people can put down those shields and then commingle the similarities, right? We both like flavored ice cream. I'm assuming it's chocolate vanilla ice cream flavored ice cream, then the idea is that, oh, we can connect. And that immediately sparks a video about talking about discussing with people who disagree with you on such core things. Talks about Daryl Davis and stuff like that, which is the guy who is black, plays jazz, also talks to members of the KKK and removes them from that group because they're like, wow, you seem really nice and mm, maybe my beliefs are weird. And it's not like other people haven't told them that their beliefs are weird, but there's a way that he does it that makes it special. These are shortcuts. These are tricks. These are kind of things that lower the cost of spoons. Specifically, finding a way to get yourself to do something at a lower spoon cost. One way is you practice that thing a lot, right? You've done it a lot, you fall into a habit, it makes it easy. I know how to do faster edits and video stuff because I realized a method that was easier to do. Thumbnails, I'm just grabbing pieces. I'm not having to think up something completely brand new each time. Idea generation. I'm just sitting here and being like, oh, that was interesting. Oh, I have 10 things that relate to that in my brain. I'm just gonna put them together. Going to PAX. It's not a big deal for me to go to PAX anymore. I can walk there. I mean, I could beforehand just take a bus there and now it would be just the same thing. Oh, I'll just take a bus there. Uh, specifically, I took the light rail is the way I used to go to PAX. But the point being that I can just get there quickly and not have to worry about parking or food or these kinds of things and that lowered my spoons. So while you were doing the spoon theory and we're discussing it, remember that there are methods to lowering our spoon costs. This doesn't mean that people who ask us to do things and we're like, you should lower your spoon cost for me. No, no, no. This is more like you should lower your spoon cost for you. So you have more choices to do things for you. And it even costs spoons to lower spoon costs over time. Are there any questions about the idea? Uh, discussions on it? Give me a number one if you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Becoming more efficient in things and practicing and optimizing and that kind of thing and understanding, it takes time. That's cool, that's a number one. If you have uh, an opinion that you wanna share with that, please share it. Chat's right there, I will read it. We're gonna still be playing games while doing so, and that's totally cool. If you're like, I don't have any idea what I'm talking about here, to me. If you have questions, two works as well. Um, but I guess, you know, you can say one, you're good, two, you have questions, or just write the question. That'd be cool. Now while you're taking the time, because there's a, a lag, right, between me saying this and what's going on, feel free to write a comment while I'm speaking. Feel free to interrupt this, because I'm in a different space of time than you. I'm going to start the stuff again with the game while that's going on. I just threw a hard drive on the floor, excuse me. It's in this neat carrying case. Headphone is on. Now while the thoughts are happening, 
I realized that I was going to then ask questions about the next gun we should use. Um, that might be a bit difficult because of the time and because I just asked a bunch of other questions. So what I'm thinking to do to kind of make that work is I'm just going to pick a gun and start and in the game we can make any changes we want because it's plunder and plunder allows this. So I'm thinking it would be interesting, uh, since I have a submachine gun that I'm pretty high level with, this MP5, or MP7, see if I have enough things to go with it. We have a couple choices. I should probably do one of the things though I have a lot, a lot, a lot of levels in. Yeah, I think I'll, I could do something like that because alternatively, sometimes there's just not enough things to add to the, to the weapon. But there is fun stuff, ooh, so many. Let's do, yeah, we'll give everybody the opportunity to do something bigger. Let's do a sniper rifle that I have 24 levels to. Yeah, that's uh, not bad. Or I could do one of my favorite marksman rifle options, the crossbow. You could choose how we do the crossbow. What I like about choosing the crossbow is that you could do things like, do we burn people? Do we blow people up? Do we gas people? Oh my God, that sounds terrifying. Uh, when we shoot them or something. I think I'm going to do... I really like this weapon here. I'm going to save this as a custom mod real quick. And I'm going to name it James. Because James is here. James, this is a snippy snap, so it's related to you. In the future, Alex, we'll have one named for you. So think about what thing you're interested in. But this is a weapon I've done a lot of experience with, so we got a lot of choices. Get crazy barrels, different ammunition if you want to do bigger guns and bullets and stuff. Full metal jacket perk. We have the big handgun, which super fun. Spotter, high alert, cold blooded. Cool. Cool. Let's begin. Do a quick chat check, cause I haven't seen anything come up and I wanna make sure that it's still there, <laughs> reading the chat. So I'm gonna just do a quick, yes. Yep, that seems to work. <laughs> Does seem to be happening. All right, all right, all right, all right. Click. Oh, I hear myself. Ah, gotcha. Heard half, then had to deal with the toddler meltdown. Makes sense, makes sense. That happens. Sometimes we have the toddler meltdown thing occur. You do have an extra challenge in that regard. Three, I like that. Giving your own version and number to that. Uh, well, basically, Alex, it was a discussion on how I found ways to lower the cost of spoons for myself in my life, and I was sharing some of those discussions, and I wanted to hear some of the chat uh, discussion thoughts on spoon lowering of cost. Mine was specifically in, like, practicing and trying, re doing something over and over again, eventually finds the thing I need to know for the spooning. Specifically, like going to a new environment in a new place and how doing that becomes a lot easier the more times you just do it over and over again. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, our character's wearing the right outfit this time. Not the correct race, but the right outfit. It's, it's trying, they're doing their best. <laughs> Alright, same process. I think it would be fun to try to do a bounty right when we start. That would be like someone to chase, especially with a sniper rifle. Because if you get them in the right place, you can do some cool stuff with that. I gotta practice headshots anyway. Because the sniper rifle is wicked good if you're using it consistently as a headshot machine. If you're not, it's great then in open areas. Definitely, definitely the case. But otherwise, you're kind of putting yourself in harder positions 
That was a perfect landing, by the way. I always thought I was going to blow that person up. Alright, with this, I'm going to put this in this gun. Oh, our person ran away. Nope, but someone else killed them in that process. That's fine. I'll take a cluster strike. I'll take more stopping power rounds. I guess I could switch to another weapon with our sniper rifle. There's no rule against that today. Ah, that's scoped though. Enemy UAV overhead. All right, so the person's getting closer. Woo! Huh. Enemy UAV overhead. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. All right, we're going for a shootout. All right, fine. They left. They didn't like their odds in that situation to look like. I thought it would have been fun. Oh. More things to grab. Yoink, we'll grab that though. That seems useful. Stopping power loaded. Let's play the one where we go hunting for the people with the big red. Maybe not though. They're really far away. There's a car. I've never really done that before, gone for those people. So we're gonna try that. That'd be a new way to do it. Oh, we actually have a person in red right in front of us. Easy. I thought I just saw a player right here. I think I did. Oh. Uh oh. That was just a bad play. That was just a bad play. I like felt it right when I chose to do that. I was like, I'm just revealing myself. I'm just putting myself in a stupid spot. The emotions were, it's just a bad choice. <laughs> oh. Gosh, I get, when I do that sometimes, I get that sensation of like, of like making a life decision that was wrong sometimes. I know that sounds silly, right? Like, like a life decision, but it's kind of like, I want to describe it not as buyer's remorse, but like, Decision embarrassment is an interesting descriptor for it. Like, there's a feeling of, oh wow, and the person's right here. Luckily, there's a balloon here too. But yeah, it gives me this sensation of like, oh, I can't believe I did that. That was such a silly choice. All right, well, we have King over here right now. So I'm just gonna keep loading this up with cash. person who's still king is still in this area. They're below us, too. Hup. Up to our left. Yep, they're there. Oh, that was just another player. Oof. Oof, sad face. Oof, like a laser beam. Ouch. All right. Floating in gently. People shooting at us, that's fine. Yee! Running away. We still have that recon we can hit. It's just downtown storage town. I counted as a kill. Bye. Oh, 
Oh, we hit that person. Nice. We have no more shots. Move to this spot. Reload. Pop. Oh, they got us. <laughs> Sad again. Disappoint. Damn sads. It was fun to try though. Not fun to fail, but fun to try. <laughs> yeah, that's a really interesting concept of playing a video game and having like an emotional like, I can't believe I made that choice. And I think it stands, like tends to stand out a little bit more when a person is playing something that they, they feel frustrated about their decision. Like, this is a game. It's okay. I'm gonna make some mistakes. There's no reason to be that worried about it. But it can happen, because even if there's no reason, we give it a reason. Like, that thing that I just did there was really cool, was really awesome. But I could imagine that that human, who's now looking at my character and frustrated that I just shot them, Feels kind of bad. Oh! They might feel kind of bad about that one too. Whew. But that, hold on, I get to yay. But that happens. Like, that's one of the reasons why we talk about Plunder being my preferred version of this game. That moment, like, if it was, you know, a normal battle royale, that'd be a pretty disappointing situation. Uh oh, I'm about to be run over, so I'm just gonna hide here. I got killed by a stick user. I didn't realize they were gonna go out and stick me a bunch. That deserves its own sad. That deserves its own sad. I can't be too upset though. I've been the person with swords doing that. So I know how effective that can actually be. Oh shoot, wow, there's a lot of firings happening. All right, let's go right underneath. Let's just switch to a different contract. Solution. Now Scavi. All right, we still have that opponent upstairs. Ooh. This is a little bit too long range for my desire right now. Good time to reload! Good time to reload! <laughs> Dang it. How surprised they were? That was enough time for me to win. <laughs> Dang it. Oof, Alex, you're gonna have an adult meltdown for me in a second. Oof. Oof. Side note, I am happy about the fact that this is always a good reminder that when things like go well, like, there's a lot of skill that I am demonstrating. Because when I, stuff goes poorly like this, I know that I'm just like playing incorrectly or making mistakes. And I think that's a good thing to kind of make that realization of. A reminder is like, yeah, this is hard. Good for you. I'm gonna put the bongos down for a second. We're gonna grab the scav. I'm gonna get moving. Fighting people on the way. Big chunk of money in front of us. Player nearby. Pull out our sniper practice. Munitions box will be fun. Oh, someone from behind's looking at us. I don't know from where. Let's see if I can sight them from this way. Go for it, mate. I don't have to clean up the mess afterwards. <laughs> Thank you. Just, just, wee! <laughs> really let it go. A little, they put a little shield up, that's cute. All right, moving forward. Let's 
two, two. This is where I died. It's funny landing at my own, my old body grounds. Players landing in. Scabs over here. I'm gonna follow the sniper rifle. Then I'm gonna switch to the custom assault rifle. I'm gonna switch it to the Gorza. I think that makes a lot of sense for where we are at the moment. There we go, got it. Gave us a balloon. I'll be excited to have a balloon. Got some plates. Thought I saw a player in there, I did not. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh shoot! Slide! Alright, we're gonna go this way. Alright, I'm hearing them. They're firing back and forth at each other. Alright, they're dead. They, they're not dead, but they're not shooting here anymore. Enemy UAV overhead. Sneaky, sneaky, quick check. Go. Putting on the plate. Hey, what's up, Fruit Snail? I wish you a good day, too. We've been experimenting with a kind of a little bit different way of playing, and it's been difficult. Oh my gosh. Okay, run. Just keep running. Or I'm like caring a little bit about money more rather than getting kills and then trying to get to that money amount. Doing the missions, which has been a lot of fun. I actually really like that. But sometimes there's these long running moments, but other times it's really intense and you have to make your way safely to the certain location. Also, I did not like this gun. It's kick was insane. How are you doing today, Fruit Snail? Our conversation today was about spoon theory as our lecture. We can do another lecture through it too, towards the end. Body grounds is a funny way to say cemetery. Totally. I heard the other day someone making a joke about the dead of winter and referring to like, go hang out in cemetery and be like, haha, you're the dead of winter. I was like, I can see it. I can, I can, I can pick up what you're putting down. What about this one? Is this one? Enemy UAV Scope okay. tactical rifle, little smaller. This is the one I want. Yes. Cool, that feels great. Checking the people. Nobody. But let us know, Fruit Snail, if you're looking for a second lecture of the spoon theory discussion that we did today. Which I might do anyway because Alex only caught the last half. Uh oh. Person was looking at us. Threw an explosive at us. Oh, there you go. Woo! That must have been frustrating for them. That's not a, that's definitely not a fun moment, right? You get the drop on someone and they just find their way around you. We're gonna do stopping power rounds. Oh, we're gonna do the balloon first. Because we have perfect amount for depositing this balloon. Uh oh, uh oh, don't do that now. Someone's looking at us. Dang it! <laughs> that was the same person who's just mad. I'd be mad too. But dang it! Dang it! I wanted the balloon! Ugh. There's a big pillar of light coming out from over there. I think that's the juggernaut. That's what's going on. Oh, that's a sniper looking right at us. Fall through! <laughs> Woo! Anyway. <laughs> There's another balloon. All right, there's a chance that we'll run into our killer who got us last time. Deposit the money again. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, that might be them again! That was fun, we shoot them in the butt. Here, I wanted the balloon, here comes the meltdown. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, they left the balloon here. I also wanted this gun back, so I'm glad I grabbed that. Oh, they went up. Oh, no, they're to my right. They're on the roof. I just... I just ran into a horrible position. That, like... Like, that was just bad positioning on my part. That was... they. I was running after them. They knew someone was shooting at them. They had indicators. That was just a bad choice. That's fine. Sometimes we make bad choices. We're not all perfect. That's how we learn. Whoop. There's a player right on the roof here. There's a lot of players shooting at my character right now. The best I can do is what I'm gonna do right here. That was perfect. That's a great example of doing the best I can do. Just. Someone's still running around, and that's blocked. So that means somebody's up there, or somebody put something to block it. Hide in the bushes. People did not go in here yet. Cool. Armor box? Don't mind if I do. Alright, quick check. Bunch of people still in that direction. I'm not gonna drop money in that. That's fun. Alright, they're saying there's two people this way. There's a bunch of bullets fired. Oh! That looked like a very dead corpse. <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, I'm just gonna try to leave through the window. Damn! <laughs> that shot! Oof. What's interesting about this is I can probably still get all that money back. Assuming that that person who's currently parachuting isn't going for the money. Hey, when Joe gets below, they take months to get rid of. So pop it and have a ch <laughs> That's funny. No! That person right there! Oh, God! They're gonna know that I'm coming for this. That's fine. Oh yeah, that's right, I can hack these. I did it. Oh! No! Damn it, I heard them to my right! Oh, I knew, I was like, oh, I was trying to hack it, I thought I was all clever. I was hoping they'd run forward and try to get me and then it would blow up in their face. Oof. Oof, I say. What is this? Oh, it's a gondola, that's fun. It's the little things. After experiences like that, it's the little things that bring the, the smiles to the face. Oof, the sadness. Armor box. I don't think about how I want to do this. What time is it? 212? Gotcha. 
all, all frustration aside, this has been a fantastic game in regards to like, like I've been losing it. I've made a lot of mistakes, but it's been really interesting. Like, the, the action that happened, the like, the twists, the ups and downs, like this has been a good, interesting match. And I'm impressed. Like, not upset. And that's a fun thing. Does anyone need this? Alright, we have 37 seconds, so we're really not going to get very far with anything. Ice cryptic. Hey, it's nice to see you. You're showing up right when we're at a position of the match ending. And I was gonna do the lecture again, so I'm gonna ask to Alex, did you want me to do the lecture again? Ice Cryptic, are you curious about the lecture? Fruit Snail to you as well. Is the lecture curiosity there? Because I would like to do the lecture again. But if you wouldn't want to do it, I'd be happy to, let's try another round of this. Ice Cryptic, what we were doing is basically the audience, you selves, would be choosing what attachments goes on the weapons. You don't mind? And as far as the attachments that go into the weapons, uh, the idea was like, you put a funny scope on a shotgun. It's been hard. <laughs> but honestly, uh, a lot of the players who watch this are here more for just hanging out and don't necessarily know as much about Call of Duty, so they're like, ow. Oh. And the person who came up with the idea, who was like, oh, I want you to do this tomorrow, uh, was like, oh, that's a great idea. They're not here today. <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh. Anyway, iron sights for every gun. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's, but that's a good one. That could be your addition. So, you don't mind if I do the thing? You don't mind if I do the thing? So, I guess the quick question is, does I don't mind mean I don't mind if you do the lecture? As in, I want you to do the lecture? That's the part that I was curious about. That's what I'm not sure about. So, if I could ask the question again, say, yes, lecture, because you're like, yeah, or no, lecture. and But if you're literally, like, either or, if that's what I don't mind, let me know if that's, like, I don't mind means either or. <laughs> that help. That help. <laughs> so, I definitely was unsure. But in the meantime, like, do what you want to do, says Alex, gotcha. In the meantime, I will set up an iron sights gun for... Okay, tomorrow every time you get a kill, you have to quote a movie. Ah, that's fun. But I think what would be fun in Ice is if it was like, I was told what movies I'm supposed to quote from. Something like that is the addition. Let's go to Uzi, Canyonlands. And then when we're on Canyonlands, we're gonna remove the hollow site. Tactical suppressor. Yep, like it. Hit fire accuracy, maybe. Every time, I like that. Every time I gotta do a quote. Like, recoil control, rear grip, what's this? Aim, aim walking steadiness, I'll take that. Wounding's nice, full metal jacket's coming. So, as your thing, no optic. None, iron sights. I like hip fire grip, that's fun. Let me do that, that'll be easy. Just add a laser. Any requests more to our very funky looking Uzi? <laughs> I think I think that's pretty good. We could add to the pistol. Our pistol's been the long range pistol, which has been super fun. So Ice, did you have a preference on the... Okay, how about do a gun? I do a gun, Alex has a gun. That could definitely work. Alex, however, hasn't played Call of Duty, but I like it. So far, I have taken your uh, iron, I guess what we could do is, if when you're saying iron sights only, it also applies to this. So no optic allowed. <laughs> Cause then I gotta come up with something else to add to it. That's pretty funny.
Iron sights only. <laughs> Alex, if you have an addition, let us know. Hey, Ice Phoenix, I was asking if, uh, and I'll just quit out if the answer is yes. No attachments at all. None, huh? At all? That's, alright. That's, for this one, let's see, hold on. Let's see, let's see. None. For both guns. I will try it. We'll see, we'll see what that's like. <laughs> oh, that's an MP7, hold on. There we go, Uzi. Easy. And if I hate it, that's fine. We can make a change. We'll easy change. Easy change. It's like, no, no, no. Switch for Natty. Switch back to Revolver. There we go. No a gun might be more damage. Is this more damage? All right, we'll do that. When does more... Does this have more range, though? Less range. No, more range. Okay. Something that sets people on fire. All right. Okay, so we have we have additions. I have an idea. I have a way to do that. I actually have a way to do that. <laughs> so that would be crossbow with the fire option. And then the revolver with nothing. Or, ooh, Molotov cocktail. That would be cool. That works too. I, I have an idea though. I actually have a, a way to do this. And this way we can satisfy the causing fire... Plus, all right, here we go. So we're going back to this insanity that I'm messing around with right here. Huh? Right. Loadouts, edit. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of. We'll do overkill for now, and we'll switch this into the area. Watch the skies. to our crossbow. And this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one the uh, the support, the support that it deserves. <laughs> Fire. Let's see, laser. Oh, we have the laser. Arms. Damage range. There we go. Perk. Reload. Reload. Side of hand. Boom. There we got it. We, we split it. We split the distance. 10 p.m. and I have school, so yeah, have a good night. See you! <laughs> fire crossbow sounds cool. Alright, well, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna add the fire crossbow, but since we just lost the per <laughs> being like, hey, you're gonna do this with the gun, I'm gonna real quick give our Uzi a little bit of its, its oomph back. Alright. Hold on, I gotta jump real quick. All right, keep editing while we're falling. People might kill us in air, but that's fine. Sound suppression, cool. Rear grip, stock, hip fire. There it is. There she is. And now we're dropping. We're at school now, but I assume in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! There's the fall. Death. Ah, that's where we're headed. Oh, that's a car. Cars get a lot of damage from fire crossbow. So we're gonna go for car. Cause cars get a lot of damage from fire crossbow. Oh shoot, they just got out of that. That's fine. Oh. Pull, launch. All right, that'll do. They're gone. <laughs> Yeah, I assume in the morning. Alright. Doing the cash. Come around, let's hope insomnia doesn't reach like we had. 
Do you have a, a method that you tended to use with insomnia stuff? I used to deal with, like, I developed some insomnia and then I worked through it and got out of it. Uh, but I understand that once you have insomnia, you just sort of have insomnia forever, but you just find ways to, to make it not be a problem. <laughs> Do you have a particular method that was your success? Check, check. Oh, long range crossbow bolt. Ah, uh, they're moving. <laughs> oh, they're sniping us. Oh, bummer. Oh, I missed that shot! Get in the car! Damn it. <laughs> oh, I tried to be cool. And I failed. I failed! Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely having a hard last two games. This one I might do better at overall. I'm definitely having a bit of an emotional struggle here. We hit them again. Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, they landed on the roof. Enemy dropping into the AO. Be advised, enemy team is tracking your location. Uh, not gonna be able to find me very easily. Oh, did we we actually hit the player? I wonder if we did. Another box. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'll take more munitions. And I'll take more stopping power. Nice crossbow, snippy snappy. Well, thank you. The crossbow's one of one. Oh, I missed that. The crossbow's definitely one of my favorite weapons to mess around with today. We're doing the fire crossbow at Alex's recommendation. It's f these are fun because you can get like these one shot kills. The explosion one is still my favorite because I feel like I get the most use out of it. Um. Fine. Oh, was that who was shooting at us? Ah! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I'm just playing super casually and not doing. I've like lost it, like. I've ran out of spoons. I've ran out of spoons. All right, I'm gonna turn some spoon hunting back on. Does anyone need this? So we're gonna go for the scav. Uh oh, uh oh, no! <laughs> this person's gun, what is that? All right, I'm trying to see what it is. It's, it's been great though, it's killed us multiple times. I was just trying to get over them. And then I was like, oh, maybe I could shoot them with the crossbow in the air. Oof. Oh my. I'm just gonna kind of have to pretend that I'm starting over now. Oh, we hit them. But it wasn't enough. Uh-oh. No, I'm not here! Ignore me! Ah, damn it! That was one of those situations where if I had the explosive crossbow, it might have been enough to do it. But, damn it! This is... 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna land as quickly as possible. More likely to stay alive. Alright, there's a scav over there. Our money and stuff? I don't think it's been picked up yet. It has. Totally has. Dang it. Well, it'll be fun to invade the people on the roof, even though they might probably win. But it's always fun. I was trying to do the same thing, just get around them. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> My emotional state. Alright, you know what? I think the answer to the emotional state, if we're, we're losing spoons, is we're gonna back out. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna check to see if we can do the relaxing gunfight. Now, it's still being problematic, so if it pops up as a level that I don't think it'll let us play, I'll just pop out and start it up again. But I'm gonna do this, because that was like, ooh, just, just, just pain. Just pain. <laughs> this will minimize the pain. <laughs> Sometimes, you just gotta minimize the pain. Works. Alright. Pop him back in. We'll see if this loads up the thing we want it to load up. Uh, after this, I'll try uninstalling, reinstalling everything. Because I've, I've messed around with some of the other th stuff related to... Let's see. Stack? I don't think it will let us do. So we're going to try again. Relaxing gunfight. Yeah, so I, th this is the reason why. There's a very specific reason. When you play gunfight, if you... It makes it starts everybody in the same spot and it gives everybody the same opportunity to win atrium i don't think it's gonna let us do atrium uh, and it gives everybody a chance to win at the same so every round to me is like a new start in the case of what was happening in plunder because i had to get money or i had to land somewhere and people had positions i was like i either have to just walk around quietly on my own somewhere else for a while until I get somewhere with money. Or... I gotta just, like... But I also felt like... Ah, oh, it's stack again? Shoot. If, this bug is terrible. So, as a reminder to people who... May have not been here. Gunfight doesn't load on some of the levels. It just says I... It, like, runs... It just runs out the timer. And it takes a long time to run out the timer. But there are specific things that were the problem. I've done all the fixes that Activision said to do. And none of them have worked. And I've tried to reach out to Activision and be like, I'd like to play the game, please. <laughs> and, you know, it's hard to get a hold of them. So I was hoping for, like, I don't know, some other other tricks, but it seems like it's a problem uh, that, unfortunately, uninstalling and reinstalling has it fixed. Speedball does work. Speedball does work, so we'll, we'll play it here. See how quickly that match started right there? That's how you know. That's that's how that's how you know it's it works. But I look forward to the day where we do actually just a gunfight stream for a little while. Where we bounce back and forth and we relax in the high intensity and then the we're starting around loss, it's fine. And it's that's funny, I'm starting around loss and it's one versus a couple players. That means it's equal and fair. Ooh, someone was having a hard time. That's fine. I'm here for it. I'd rather play losing right now, because this is going to be fun. It's one.
Nine bullets left. They don't know where I am, but I know where they are. Shoot! Dang it! Ah, oh, that was the wrong time to move forward, but it felt good. All right, one v two. Let's see if I can pull this off. One. Right, let's see if I can do it. Alright, they're all on the far side. Dang it! <laughs> That's it, we've lost the objective. I expect Grr. So one of the reasons why they do stuff like this too is if and this is this is where the, the bug that Activision has right now is so frustrating. Is that they seem to load you up in matches that are losing or missing players if you quit out the loads a bunch of times. So it forces me to go through the bug in order to get into matches at all. It is a frustrating issue and is feeling even more poof, oof right now, but that's okay. Whew. Perhaps it'd be a good time to talk about spoons. Ah, that might be the best thing to minimize the frustrations. In fact, I think it applies really well to our spoon conversation because in discussions about things like the spoons, it makes sense to talk about being frustrated. So the discussion again of spoon theory for Alex, you remember spoon, you know spoon theory, you told me about spoon theory, you use spoon theory. James, I talked to you about spoon theory as well. I don't know if you were able to listen in as much. You didn't say yay or nay when I asked, but point is spoons are energy, that kind of thing. The thing that I like talking about in relation to stuff about spoon theory is that it's a really good discussion on and use, basically a tool to calculate improvements so you can become more effective. Let's take, for example, this game right now. It was increasing an amount of spoon energy cost to continue to play the game. Normally, Call of Duty is something that would help me relax. It would build spoons up. But because of the frustrations of the bug, of a legitimately better player and bad decisions of mine, I was like, this is too much. I gotta back out because it was now costing spoons to play. It's never fun to play something that is supposed to give you spoons that instead takes them away. But as I get better as a player and get to be more aware of the things that cause anti-spoons or negative spoons, that will help me in the future in avoiding spoon problems. For example, let's say we fix Activision's bug somehow, right? Like we, we do enough of, un, of changing of, I changed how the modem works, I changed how the Xbox connects to the internet, I changed how the software connects, all these things. We solve it, great. Then that means that we can start going to these situations where we have less spoon costs again. That's me putting in spoons because I have to figure stuff out, but then in, again, it makes me happier. Or I just get better at the game. I go, you know what? I've played this a couple times. I realize plunder is going to get frustrating. If I keep going in this direction, I'm going to go in a completely different direction where I don't have to deal with this frustration as much, lowering the spoon count. This is something we talked about as well with like thumbnails where I'm getting better at doing thumbnails. And as I get better at doing thumbnails, it becomes a thing where it's so much easier for me to make the thumbnails and they don't take as much effort. I pointed them out in regards to, not the newsroom, I pointed them out in regards to this stuff. Like, I'm just sort of like, oh yeah, each thumbnail is a little different, but it has a style. Once that style is established, it takes a lot less spoons to prepare the thumbnail. Same thing with idea generation for lectures. I just kind of think about something that I've been thinking about recently, and I think about the things we recently talked about, and they sort of move into the lecture. A lot of times they're from me watching other videos, and they go, oh, that'd be a cool video to do as an actual video video, so I'm gonna put that as a script somewhere to eventually do that as a video video. That feels really good. Lowering the cost of spoons. This kind of method that I've been using of lowering spoon cost is generally the process of doing something and paying attention to it. Wild, right? Play the game, plunder, I'm like, all right, I'm recognizing my spoon cost situation, I gotta back down. I'm doing thumbnails and I'm realizing, oh, if I just save as something, I can use a lot of the pieces again and just sort of change only a couple things, saving time. In the idea of idea generation, I know that I've been building up a lot of ideas and I can pull old ideas and make them new ideas by taking an old idea and having a new perspective on it. Awesome. 
these things lower the spoon counts, which has been very helpful in spoon theory discussion, because life is full of spoons. We gotta use a lot of those spoons for all those things that we do. And so having something that helps us lower the spoon stuff, for me, is really fun. I like the moment when I realize that I'm able to make thumbnails and titles and then do lectures in like less than an hour, which used to take me up to two, up to five, 10, depending on how I was thinking about things. Like I was like, how do I say this perfectly? And now I'm like, doesn't have to be perfect. Just the more you practice, the better you'll get. And it was very cool. I had a comment here too that uh, like one of the things about spoon stuff is like sometimes I'll do shortcuts where I'll say like, oh, I don't have to clean all the bathrooms. I'll just clean the bathtub in this one bathroom. And something like that helps me get stuff done because I do less spoons per thing and then you get all of the stuff done. So over the course of many days, you get all the spoons completed or you use the same amount of spoons. But because you didn't have to do it the same day, that number of spoons almost goes down because it's easier to do a little thing over a long period of time than it is to do a big thing immediately sometimes. Any final opinions and questions on that? Um, I think it's fun talking about stuff related to spoons and energy use and absorbing that. I'm actually, oh, I'm gonna turn the Xbox back on real quick so that I can uninstall. Activate uh, Call of Duty. It sounds like I'm angry at it. Uh, I'm uninstalling it, but I mean it from the perspective of let's see if we can make it work. It is pretty frustrating because it's like I want to play that version of the stuff. Fun fact though that I know about uh, Activision in regards to um, Call of Duty Warzone. Also, feel free to still interrupt me with any questions related to the lecture stuff. If you have zero questions, just give me a number one in chat so I can know that you physically heard it. Uh, that helps. Manage game and add-ons. Uninstall all. I like planning rewards for using energy. You, you like to plan rewards for spoon use? That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. I think it could be pretty interesting to do stuff like that too, yeah? Alex is one, gotcha. James, what is a reward for you when you describe uh, planning stuff for energy? I'd be curious. All right, I just uninstalled everything on the Xbox. It's interesting watching it like tick down. Install an internal storage, please. No toddler interruptions that time, gotcha. Here we go, here we go. Select all, install. See if this does it. Cool. Just for the, for the sake of it. There it goes again. <laughs> Trying to see if it'll work this time. See if we're able to get it to go. <laughs> Some me time to play games. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same thing, no toddler interruptions. <laughs> As part of the, the me time. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Cool. Well, with that, I'm going to wind down, turn this off, do some exercises. Feeling better from uh, after... Po you as the vaccine, you know, it's been a couple days, and so it's like you feel better very quickly after your final vaccine hit. Still a little lumpy, but that's okay. <laughs> Y'all been lovely. I'm going to stop the stream, gonna chill, see if I can get this thing to work because it would be so cool if I can just do a gunfight stream or like just modern warfare stuff, some gun games and that kind of thing too. And once Joe goes to bed, you're off the clock, gotcha. Feel free to say any more comments in chat too while I turn off. Um, you've been lovely. Exercise time I'm excited about. I hope you have a good evening, Alex. I hope you have a good day, James. And if anybody else is here, I don't think so. Apparently there's two others. Goodbye to you as well. Maybe one is me. Goodbye to me as well. Cool. All right. Y'all been lovely.